What's up guys? Welcome back to Supreme Micah. What I wanted to talk about was a supplement that I have most recently been taking. So this supplement is named Ashwagandha. So I actually was approached by a company. This company actually offers many different types of products. One of the products that they do offer is that of ashwagandha. Now, this supplement is awesome. Now, in regards to me choosing this specific supplement from Vive Essentials, it was very interesting after doing some research from some of the benefits that this actual herb offers. So what I want to do is just share some background information in regards to what I've been doing over the last two weeks in regards to this supplement, building muscle strength and also muscle size. Guys, so in regards to ashwagandha, the supplement that I've been taking from Vive Essentials, I'm still in the review phase, meaning I'm actually still taking this product orally, okay? It comes in a capsule form. So I've only been taking it for about two weeks. It's going on two weeks today, all right? So I'm still in that phase where I can't actually tell you overall how beneficial it is until maybe a few more weeks and then I can actually give my review. What I wanted to do was actually jump into being able to provide information in regards to some background information related to the supplement and how that may benefit you overall in your fitness goals. Guys, so let's dig a little deeper. So if you've heard of ashwagandha before, you may know that it actually does help with anxiety. It helps reduce stress. Those are some of the most common things that you may hear about this actual herb or supplement, okay? And it's been around for thousands of years. This isn't anything new at all. It comes from an actual plant overall, and depending on the method of consuming it, this can be put into many different types of products. It can be consumed like me through a capsule pill. All right, guys, so if you've clicked on this actual video, you're not really interested in being able to reduce your actual anxiety or your stress level, and that's just my guess. But what I really wanted to get into was how does this actually affect your overall muscles and your strength? So I did some digging, I did some research, I did some reading, okay? So what this supplement actually does is boost your testosterone. So I've done material, I've posted this and uploaded this several different times and many different types of content across YouTube. And the videos that I specifically uploaded gives a lot of detail in regards to how testosterone can actually benefit you overall, especially when it's boosted or increased. What can actually happen from taking ashwagandha is your overall hormone, testosterone, benefits your actual muscle mass, it benefits muscle strength. Guys, if you want further information in regards to testosterone and how that can actually benefit you overall in regards to being an actual hormone in your body and how that affects muscle growth and strength, I'll leave a link to that video for you. Yes, my friends, taking ashwagandha will actually increase your actual muscle strength and it will also increase your muscle size. So the study that I actually read up on was actually pretty interesting. The study consisted of overall young aged men. So what happened in this study was the men who actually consumed ashwagandha increased their actual muscle size and they also increased their muscle strength compared to the individuals who did not actually take this supplement that vast difference was noticeable now in regards to this actual study what happened during the phases was a eight week trial of being able to consume ashwagandha and also the group who did not consume ashwagandha over the eight period duration. Now, what happened? What did they do in this actual study to actually figure out exactly did this work in regards to building muscle strength and also muscle size? What they did was resistance training. So for eight weeks, they actually performed resistance training in this resistance training, there were a few different exercises that they did too. Those exercises consisted of leg extensions and also the bench press. 
So not only did the group who actually consumed ashwagandha increase their overall muscle strength and also their muscle size, they also benefited overall from a recovery aspect or perspective. So those who weren't taking ashwagandha actually had a slower recovery rate. Now, the terms or the words that actually was used in this study was significantly. So in regards to the actual muscle strength and also the muscle size, those who were actually taking ashwagandha benefited significantly because of this supplement. In regards to the focus areas and being able to come up with a measurement to keep track of, the muscle strength and also the muscle size were the primary focus, but overall muscle strength was the most focused on in regards to being able to actually build muscle strength from taking ashwagandha over this eight week duration. That was the main focus and it was definitely proven in regards to this study that I read. I'll leave a link in the description of this actual video so that you can read that yourself. It's pretty interesting too because I like the actual study that was performed. In regards to this study, they did pick men who was actually lacking in any prior experience in regards to actual resistance training. Not only that, they did provide the specific amount of ashwagandha that was being consumed over the eight week period in regards to resistance training was 300 milligrams. Now in regards to the supplement that I'm taking from Vive Essentials is actually 500 milligrams. I actually take that daily and I do that in the morning. Now guys, I know I can't actually give you a review right now because I probably need to maybe take this actual supplement for another about two to three weeks before I can be confident to say, all right, well, I benefited from this, I benefited from that, and it really does take a little focus to keep track of exactly what I'm lifting overall. I also have to take into consideration that I'm also taking protein. All right, so I'm taking a new specific type of protein I've never taken before, which is plant-based. So that's something that I actually want to take into consideration too. But in regards to building strength and building muscle size overall, I would say that my experience in regards to this, it hasn't really been noticeable as of yet. I think that the strength, or at least the muscle size that I've been able to develop over the last two weeks may be based on being consistent, okay? If you are resistance training or if you are weightlifting, if you're hitting your macros, if you're resting appropriately, I think that you will benefit overall from seeing muscle strength and muscle size. So right now, it's really hard for me to say, especially from going back into the gym since quarantine and working out in my own apartment with a barbell and a bench for the last few weeks, it's really hard to actually kind of pinpoint exactly if ashwagandha is benefiting me overall. Now, one thing that I will be honest on is that in regards to the recovery time and in regards to me building muscle strength and muscle size, I'm not going to lie to you. I will say that I am feeling a little bit stronger since actually taking ashwagandha. So in regards to consuming ashwagandha, as of now, I'm actually taking ashwagandha in a longer duration compared to plant protein. So I've been taking this actual supplement longer than I have been with the plant protein. I have seen an increase in strength. And I must say this, this is where I actually see the increase in strength. This is something that I've noticed in my last workout. In regards to the strength that I've noticed while in the actual gym, all right, I've, for the most part, have been lifting the same amount, okay? But what I've noticed is the amount that I am lifting is actually becoming easier. So it's not the fact that I'm lifting heavier, is that my strength to be able to actually lift that weight is becoming easier. Now you actually may be able to say, well, that could be from the ashwagandha that you've been taking from the last two weeks. Or you can maybe say, well, that is based off of consistency. Or maybe it's the actual 
plant protein that I've been consuming. I don't know. This is why I actually need to consume the supplement longer. One, I just have a lot more questions. I have a lot more focus on being able to make sure that I can understand what is benefiting my actual muscle size and strength overall in regards to my progress. I want to continue taking this supplement and give an honest review. Now, in regards to anything that I'm taking right now that may benefit my actual strength overall, you can easily say that eating regularly can also benefit from strength and also your actual muscle size because even without ashwagandha or even without plant protein, I'll still be able to increase muscle strength and also muscle size without that supplement or without even taking plant protein because it's based off of macros and nutrients from the beginning in regards to protein and calories and fat intake, you will naturally gain muscle mass or muscle strength. The ability to be able to consume supplements is a benefit because it increases those supplements by a max or a minimum and you will only benefit in the long run by not having to actually consume likely more calories to be able to actually intake more protein or fat or carbs, for an example. So I'm not necessarily worried that I'm actually consuming plant protein. That's something that really wouldn't be a factor in regards to this, but it's something that I am keeping a close eye on. Guys, if you are interested in the plant protein that I have been consuming, I'll leave a link for you to be able to actually watch my last YouTube upload, which actually consists of me providing somewhat of a review. I wouldn't say it was a full-blown review, but it was a review that I must say that you should actually watch if you're interested in that plant protein that I am consuming. One key factor that I also want to point out too, and I'll actually upload another video pretty soon in regards to plant protein, is that the supplement that I actually introduced in my last video was actually a meal replacement, but it was based off of actual plant protein. It was labeled as a meal replacement, but the actual protein, the consistency of it, the actual ingredients of it, it was still plant-based. So that's why I was actually still calling that actual supplement a actual protein-based supplement in regards to a protein shake, for an example. Actual plant protein that I recently purchased is labeled as an actual plant protein. It actually has about three grams more of protein than the meal replacement. I can also say that the actual meal replacement tastes better. In regards to the actual plant protein that I'm taking now, I would say that it doesn't taste as great as compared to the meal replacement, but I would say overall, they're generally probably not that much of a difference. In regards to you being able to achieve more muscle mass and increase strength, I think it will definitely get the job done. All right, guys. I really do appreciate you for tuning into this channel. Make sure that you subscribe, leave a comment, all right, and hit the thumbs up button. Thank you.